Hey guys, this is Dustin from August Burns Red, and you're watching Mosh Cam. I would say Provision. I, it's a new song, and um, so that's always exciting, is playing a new song, figuring out what you're gonna do on stage to it, how you're gonna react to it, how the kids are gonna react to it, um, and it goes over really well live, and it's just fun to play. Wow, there's so many good moments. Uh, we did uh, the latest album with two of our really good friends from back home, uh, Grant uh, and Carson, um, and they are just, they're goofballs. I, I, can't, I can't pinpoint one. I, I would just say that working with them was unlike working with anybody else we have in the past. So many inside jokes, you know, and that, that was just awesome. I can't really think of a favorite encounter I've had with a fan, but I can tell you the weirdest one. How's that? Okay. Uh, it was our first time playing Helsinki, uh, 2009, I want to say it was like 2009, and uh, we were playing, uh, it was early in the set, I remember it was early in the set, we were just playing, and this kid got up on stage, and he was naked, and he proceeded to then crowd surf, which I thought was really weird because I wouldn't feel comfortable crowd surfing naked, so I, I had to look around, I was like, is he really naked? And he got up on stage and did it again. So that was the weirdest thing. Not my favorite thing, but the weirdest thing I'd ever seen from a fan encounter, so. Malaysia, we played Malaysia, the South, we did a Southeast Asian run um, in 2012. And it was grueling, but when we got to that uh, stage, I forget what, it was a festival, I forgot what it was called. I couldn't see the end of the crowd. It was ridiculous. It was packed and they told us it was packed. I forget how many people were there exactly, but wow. And it was, the stage was like something you would see like Britney Spears play on because it was like an oval stage with like a pit in the middle where people were in the middle like photographing you like all around. Um, so it was just really unique in that sense and it was just huge. So I'd say that's one of my favorites. I haven't heard too many rumors. The one that I heard, it was posted on Wikipedia, which as you know, anybody can post anything there. Uh, it was rumored that I was a mo model for Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch. And to be honest with you, I think I started that rumor <laughs> and it ended up on there. I didn't post it on there, but yeah. I can't think of any. I, I, I have, um, to be honest, I have in-ears in and I don't have crowd mics, so it's really hard to hear. I can tell you that we just played London uh, on this, before we got to Soundwave and uh, this kid kept yelling, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin. I was like, what? I, had, I couldn't see him anywhere, and he's like, can I play bass? And I was like, I'll think about it. And he's like, I want to play whitewash. I was like, well, I'll think about it. So I uh, thought about it, and I went back, and you know, we didn't get to practice with him or anything, so um, I asked Kevin, our guitar tech, to grab him while Matt was playing his drum solo, because we walked off stage, got him backstage, and I gave him my backup bass and proceeded to let him go on stage and play whitewash. So that was, that was a, you know, that was something. <laughs> it was interesting. Shower as often as you can. <laughs> Most nights, or days I should say, as in this is during the day, we will all get together. It's either Kevin, our guitar tech, or JB today, he's had one. Um, we always put our hands in and say, bring it in. And he'll start the chant by saying something like, we don't need something, like the other day we were having wireless problems. We don't need wireless systems because we have each other. We all chant that. So we usually pick something like that, you know, whether it's uh, a bad flight or something or just something random. That's, that's my favorite pre-show ritual. Jameson. <laughs> Necessary on my rider. <laughs> I love to listen to different styles of music because we play metal, so uh, I like to branch out and listen to, you know, I play metal all the time. Um, I'm really into like jazz and blues, so John Mayer is probably my favorite artist. Um, and Jimmy Eat World, I know they're on the festival as well. Those are my two favorite like musicians and bands, so really excited to be able to see them on Soundwave this year, so. For more of this, subscribe right here.